hair care routine is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself from a men's grooming perspective. Whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, at some point in your life, your hair is going to start thinning out. And that's why while you're young, you've got to learn how to take care of your hair as well as your scalp. What's good everybody? This is me before a bath, before my own hair care routine. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you all what my hair looks like after I've taken care of it. Yes, as Indians, we might have very varied genetics, but keep in mind that today's hair care routine is all about hair from a health perspective. How to take care of your hair, how to wash it the correct way, how to oil it the correct way, even the post-wash treatment, we're gonna cover it all. Step one, India's biggest gift to the world of men's grooming, oiling your hair. You gotta oil your hair at least two or three times every week because oiling your hair nourishes it. So quick pro tip, Heat up your oil before applying it on your scalp. That hot oil opens up the pores of the skin on your scalp and then the oil can seep into the scalp. This oil is helping nourish your scalp as well as your hair. What does nourishment mean? It prevents bacterial as well as fungal infections in the long term. It helps strengthen your hair. It helps your hair grow better, but most importantly, it keeps your hair thick for as long as possible. If you're serious about your hair's health, you gotta start oiling your hair at least two to three times a week. Now that number might vary according to your genetics. If you're someone who has oily skin or oily hair, then you might only need to oil it once or twice a week. Also keep in mind you shouldn't over oil it. If you oil it too much, that also makes you prone to dandruff because it clogs all the pores in your hair and that can possibly lead to infections. So the rule of oiling is that heat it up a little bit, let it just cool down, make sure it's warm and then start applying it on your hair. Also in this case, I've mixed amla oil with coconut oil so that you get a little bit of mixed nourishment. Now the thing with oiling your hair is that ideally, you want to oil it and let the oil stay in your hair overnight, at least 12 hours. It lets your hair as well as your scalp absorb all the oil. But we're living in 2017 and it's not a very practical decision. That's why, you know, just maybe about one hour of oiling with this technique of heating up the oil works fantastic. If you don't want to actually heat up your hair oil, you can go for a hot oil like this. Not a product placement, this is the actual product I end up using. You basically just pour it onto your hand rub it a little bit, it creates an exothermic reaction. That means the oil releases its natural heat, apply it on your hair, and once again, it's the same logic. It opens up the pores in your hair, lets the oil seep in and nourish your scalp. So we're doing this primarily for health reasons, and the other thing when it comes to oiling your hair is that you want to massage your scalp. When you massage your scalp in this circular motion, What's happening is that the blood circulation is increasing towards your scalp. Whenever the blood circulation increases in a particular region, it improves the recovery of that region. So all those dead skin cells get worn off because of your fingers and new skin cells form because of all that added blood circulation. So while I'm waiting to go into my hair wash, I'm going to take you guys over the basics you need for a hair wash. Because we're Indian bros, because we have this kind of hot climate and because of our genetics with oily scalps, a lot of us suffer from dandruff. That's why the number one priority piece you need while you're washing your hair is an anti-dandruff shampoo. I use Head & Shoulders, you can go for Clinic All Clear or Seba Med. They're all very strong shampoos and that's also why you can only use them once a week. A lot of bros make this mistake of overdoing it with anti-dandruff shampoos. They treat the anti-dandruff shampoo like the only shampoo they should be using. But that actually spoils the quality of your hair. If you want to care about the quality of your hair, turn towards what the ladies use. They use these milder shampoos. Like in this case, I've got this one from L'Oreal. It's basically a smooth, intense, smoothening shampoo. And also, whenever you're buying these ladies style shampoos, they come with certain variables. Like so-and-so is for silky hair, so-and-so is for unmanageable hair. So when you're buying these, that's what you gotta go looking out for. You gotta figure out, okay, what is the problem of my What is the issue you're facing with your hair? And then buy that shampoo accordingly. So for me, because my hair is like a little frizzy, I go for this unmanageable dry hair shampoo. So at the end of my hair wash, it ends up looking a little bit smooth, a little bit wet, a little bit more dense. So that's why you gotta have a mild shampoo. Use this about two to three times a week, almost like every alternate day. And then on Sundays or Mondays, on days you're not going out and you don't really care how your hair looks, on those days, go for a strong anti-dandruff shampoo. Also speaking about dandruff, make sure you get your pillowcases cleaned as an Indian bro. 
a lot of bros don't get rid of the dandruff issue because of the pillow cases all that dandruff is collected here and at the end of the day it's an infection it's going to continuously infect your scalp if you keep taking your scalp and rubbing it against the dandruff so if you've got unmanageable dandruff that's not even going with these anti dandruff shampoos wash your pillow case wash your bed sheet that'll get rid of your problem so that's that when you're talking about shampoos you got to understand these are water based substances so you wash your hair as well as your scalp with it but next very importantly we're talking about an oil based product a conditioner this is also a very important part of my own hair care routine and it should be a part of your hair care routine once again turn to the ladies why do people use conditioners now shampoos are for primarily washing up your scalp removing all the excess dirt the excess oil now this is oil based so obviously you can't use too much of it i wouldn't advise you to use it more than say twice a week especially if you have oily genetics like mine like my hair and my scalp is super oily so i won't overdo it with this conditioner but if you have something like dry hair if you generally have dry skin this is a great option once again if you are going for a conditioner try going for a conditioner that pairs up well with your shampoo like see this is the same brand this is l'oreal it's the smooth intense smoothing shampoo and it's a smooth intense smoothing conditioner it's sister products so that's why even if you're not going for l'oreal if you're going for another brand of a shampoo go for the sister pair conditioner of that particular shampoo that's what you want to focus on usually these products work fantastic when you buy them in pairs use this two to three times a week use this once a week use it up to twice a week once again that's the protocol i follow now your genetics might be slightly different from mine so you'll have to figure out your own system but mostly if you're someone who deals with oily hair like most indians do you'll have to follow this protocol if you're someone who deals with slightly drier hair firstly go for different products and secondly use conditioners more often but the rule with anti dandruff shampoos is that you try keeping it minimum all right so i just got done with my shower and post shower therapy is actually super simple just two main ingredients a hair serum and a comb and obviously i've also towel dried my hair i've just dabbed it dry i've not ruffled it up but more importantly let's talk about these two ingredients if you've got unmanageable hair like i do a comb is not of much use when it comes to shaping up your hair but what it does do is that it also helps in massaging your hair a little bit so if you just stroke your hair along its natural direction of growth but also make sure that the comb makes contact with your scalp you're once again increasing the blood circulation towards your scalp but if you're someone who chooses to use serum you're taking your post shower treatment one notch higher now serum doesn't really have too many health benefits like all the other factors but it's more about the look of your hair it makes it look thicker glossier shinier and it also to some extent protects your hair from excess humidity and excess dirt by just forming a protective coating so i'll just take a coin size portion rub it in my hands and apply it onto the body of the hair not the scalp but the hair while it's still slightly wet from the shower once it's applied you can actually go and start combing your hair make sure the comb touches the scalp increase the blood circulation if you like combing your hair if you like shaping it with your comb leave it as it is but if you're like me and the comb really doesn't help much then just shape it up with your hand i feel that especially if you have rough hair combs might even make it look worse than you want it to look so just playing around with your hair using your hands will do the trick for you now keep in mind there's a lot more details when it comes to taking care of your hair that i've not been able to cover in today's video because of a time constraint this is my first part of this hair care series i'll be making more videos on it if you want more information on men's grooming make sure you check out our men's grooming playlist fashion tips the fashion tips playlist and make sure you subscribe to be your biceps from ranveer until next time if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up we'll see you later